Hey, Manon. Hi. Thank you for joining me. Now, have your team let you know what you're in for? They haven't, but I'm guessing it's something fast because, well, we're on a race circuit. So. Yeah, you are on the right track there, literally. Um, we are here to race. It is you versus me. Okay, but... Time trial bike, road bike, what's that about? <laughs> yeah, now this is a compliment to you because if I was on a road bike, I, it wouldn't be an exciting race and I want an exciting race, so I need all the help I can get. Interesting. So yeah, it's going to be basically you v me, road bike versus time trial bike. Sweet. <laughs> All right, Manon, I know that you were a world-class track cyclist and you probably aren't far off that since joining GCN. So I've obviously dug out the Canyon Speedmax to get all the help I can get. And I'm hoping it's going to be enough. Well, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to drafting and sitting behind that speed machine and then sprinting past you at the end. Yeah, as if I was going to let you do that. I mean, I know the sprinting prowess that you have, so I'm afraid to tell you it's a time trial, a race oh. against the clock time trial right okay <laughs> now i thought we needed to kind of gauge to make it an exciting race so need to look at our numbers to work out roughly how different we are and you came up with a bit of a shocker to me on this one yeah i've never actually done the traditional 20 minute test that most people do and i'm actually quite happy about that because i've never heard many good things about the 20 minute test yeah i can't believe i mean it makes sense i guess being a sprinter you wouldn't need to but i can't believe that gcn have not yet made you yeah, do an they FD. don't know about that <laughs> yeah that's gonna that's yeah. gonna change <laughs> well anyway what do you i know you obviously having been a pro you must have an idea of what your your rough numbers would be for say a 20 minute so i had a look at um my power numbers throughout last year and my 20 minute power was 252 and the hour i can do around 202 watts okay. roughly Okay, right. Well, I've just recently well, I've just recently done an FTP test, one of many on GTN, and I got 222 for the 20 minutes. So that leaves me with a 30 watt deficit. And I have to admit something here. I might have gone and got a little bit of advice from um, one of your GCN team members. Who is that? Ah, oh, be telling. Traitors. Hey Ollie, sorry, um, I hope you're not too busy. I know you were like mid-filming or something, but I need your help here. Okay. Um, and I've, I've just brought this accessory with me. There is a reason. Um, so I am in a couple of days time racing Manon and I know she's on your side, but please- um, <laughs> We're all on the same side. <laughs> I need GCN's help here. So obviously Manon is stronger and we reckon that over about 20 minutes, she's got about 30 more watts than me okay. now. I have this as my sort of main advantage, but I want to kind of pick your, your aero gains brain. What am I going to be getting roughly by riding this bike compared to Manon on her road bike? Easily more than that 30 watts that you need. Oh, if you do it. Cool, I'm right. done. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a, few, there's a few things that I can see on the bike straight away that I would optimize as well. So, uh, how are your tires set up? Are they tubeless? No, I have tubes in. I have watched your video, but they still got tubes in. Get latex in and tubes in there. Ooh. That's like the first upgrade I'd say anyone do to go faster. That's okay. like that's, that's how much would that save me? Ten watts. Really? Yeah. Wow. I wonder if GTM budget will stretch to some latex inner tubes. I might have to do find out. Get some, definitely get some <laughs> latex inner tubes in. That's the best value upgrade. The, the other thing is, uh, in terms of like what you're going to wear. So you've ridden this bike before, you're comfortable on it. I wouldn't mess around with the position okay. the day before. It will be more aero than a road bike. When you say more than 30 watts, what do you reckon? I mean, obviously you've not seen me on the bike and it's a very rough estimation, but what would I be gaining, do you think, over Manon on a road bike, just from the pure position? Um, it, it, it depends because of the, the sort of speeds you're looking at, but if you're looking at around 35k an hour, yeah, like easily that, that 30 watts is easily something you're going to get. It could be more if you were more aero, but I'm being fairly conservative yeah, with that. Yeah, I haven't ridden this bike very much either. Get that. The other thing it's to consider is, is like what you're wearing. That's the, the big thing. So, you know, get your nice Met TT helmet on mm -hmm. and... Also, I know it's winter and I know it's quite cold, but <laughs> uh -oh. just, just... Well, just, wear, wear my swimsuit. <laughs> just wear, the, no wear something very tight and aero, not baggy winter kit. You know, 
if it means being warm and then five seconds before you set off on the, the race effort, strip off, do it. Oh my goodness. See, this is where GCN and GTN, like we, we should be used to wearing like thin Lycra, but I've, I've seen Cy take it to the extreme with his, tri with his aero suit. And it works. It may, I mean, that, that'll make a huge difference. Okay. That, could, that could, what you're wearing, is probably going to be the difference to whether. I hope you've not told Man on this as well, and she's not no, going to like whip out a, a little aero suit on under no, her. No, she'll be wearing a winter kit. She'll be wearing like a gabber <laughs> or something. So just um, yeah, okay. if, you wear, if you wear tight fitting stuff, that will cool. probably make the difference. And I'm we're pretty like much. I think dead on the same height. I've got slightly broader shoulders from swimming, and maybe a kilo or two heavier. Will that make much difference to us? Mm, weight won't make like no on any difference around where you're going to be racing, which is pretty flat circuit. Okay. The shoulders thing, just try and roll them in. <laughs> yeah, roll them in like this. do some bit of yoga tonight, okay. <laughs> yeah. um, awesome, all right, so I guess it's gonna depend on how strong I'm feeling as to how many of these gains I need to, as to whether I need to really wear this tri suit or not. Um, yeah, I think you do. <laughs> Oh, um, I'm now slightly regretting coming to ask you, Ollie, but on, uh, honestly, I'm not, because that's very that's reassured me um, that even if my legs don't have it, hopefully there's enough gains there that... The other that, sneaky thing as well, which is oh. a free gain, oh, right? Yes. Which is a free gain to anyone. You don't need, what, irrespective of what bike you have. He's going to call man on up after it's this, the, isn't he? It's just the pacing around... Where I, I've raced around the circuit that you're doing it mm -hmm. on, and it's very windy up there. Yeah. So it's, it's totally flat, yeah. but you get instances where you're really battling in a headwind mm -hmm. and then instances where you're flying along with a tailwind and if you can pace it so that you swing your power so that you're okay so you get like, through the headwind quicker yeah well say if your power is like 220 well, yeah. watts average or something yeah. if you can just lift that to like 235 or 240 in the headwind sections mm -hmm. and then go a bit below it or as much as you can in the tailwind sections okay you stand to gain yeah, more. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Than if you maths proves this. Yeah, no, that but seems logical. You stand logical. to gain more than if you just rode, like tried to average the same power the whole way. Awesome. Cool. It'll well, be quicker. I'm hoping you don't get on the quarter man on straight after this because I'm <laughs> now feeling much more confident than I was when I came in. So thanks, Ollie. Right. All right, well, Manon, your team member has given me quite Can't a lot of um, <laughs> advice. So Ollie reckons I can get at least 30 watts from the bike on its own. He did say I could get 10 watts from latex in the tubes. Can't find any, so I'm losing that. I do have my tri-suit with me. You're going to put that on today, Heather? Well, as you can see, I'm wearing about six layers now. And the thought it is of, very cold. Yeah, the thought of wearing this, I mean, irrelevant of how many watts it gains, sadly, yeah, that is not going to happen. I had hoped. But I've gone for the helmet, which is doubling up in aero gains and warmth. Yeah, it's quite I'm nice. I'm quite jealous of the helmet. <laughs> so, um, how far are we actually going to be? racing today well i was thinking because we're kind of talking about our you know we've gone off our 20 minute best i reckon something around 20 minutes and this circuit's used for a 10 mile tt so 10 mile time trial 10 miles i think 10 miles is going to be a lot more than 20 minutes for me <laughs> well actually probably would be for me as well but well what what do you what do you suggest five can we cut it in half five miles <laughs> Where would we compromise then? So, like in triathlon, we obviously do 10k, so that's about six miles. So should we go for that? I, I'll, I'll manage six k. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, Deal. I think I think that's three and a half. So we'll we'll just make it a nice round four laps. I'm not exactly sure the distance, but four laps. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Done. I think so. Okay. Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Distance has been agreed upon, so it's time for Manon versus Heather. Following a time trial format, Manon will head off first, with Heather leaving one minute later. All right, Manon, are you ready? Right. I'm coming 60 seconds after you. Okay. So don't lap me. Right, shall I count Too you in? Too many times. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Right, Three, okay. two, one, go! Oh. Good luck! Okay, minute is almost up. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one, here I come! Ollie told me this course was flat and it's probably looking flat to you guys, but trust me, there's a hill. 
my legs are telling me that for sure. One lap down, starting to hurt. Just over halfway now. Just trying to keep as low as possible. Just keep my power nice and even. Pedal around through the corners. Two laps done, halfway. And this is the last little downhill bit and I still cannot see Manon anywhere. So I have no idea. I'm just gonna have to keep working. I hope she comes back into sight, but I need to keep my head down, I think. Nearly at the finish, I reckon 30 more seconds of effort to go, maybe a little bit longer. The power's starting to drop a bit, nearly there. shock to the system <laughs> oh that hit a lot and it was, didn't help getting off cold did it no no how was, how was your pacing yeah it was okay i think i probably did go a little bit too fast on the first lap but you know when you're just excited and you're fresh but... when i watched you go that first minute seemed like forever you were like somewhere <laughs> way over there and i was like i died oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then i couldn't see you again and i was like there's no point in looking up i need to keep my aero position i was thinking of ollie and what he said i was yeah. like I'll be proud. Yeah, I, I thought I maybe glimpsed you on the last corner. It gave me a little extra. I probably didn't. I was probably hallucinating by then. But, um, How was um, your pacing? How was the position? Um, position's okay. I've got a headache that's like come from my shoulders, but I was like, it's worth it. <laughs> I'll do that. Um, and I think my, my laps are pretty even, like time-wise yeah. and, and power-wise. And I kind of found my, found my groove. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's the first time I've been in a TT position all year. So yeah. It's, it's a shock to the system. But it's should surprising we... how um, how much you feel the little kicks yeah. as well. You well, think no, it's flat, told but me then... it was flat, and I was like, yeah. I'm there. Like, oh my god! I felt that too. And I was like, no, that would advantage you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, shall we go and sort of look at the numbers and have a look in a moment, or do you want to share the times now? We may as well go for it now. Okay, get come on then. So how long? What do you want to take you? First? Yeah, four laps. Where were you? Four laps in 1908. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> good work. 1918. Oh, 10 seconds. So I didn't see you or I didn't Damn. catch you. Well done, man on. That was close. 10 seconds. Oh, if only I'd known. <laughs> oh, good work, girl. Thanks, you too. <laughs> All right, so I've digested the numbers and obviously massive congratulations to you, man. Huge thank respect. You. And like I said, I would need everything and I didn't quite bring everything. So maybe next time I should listen to Ollie yeah. a little bit more. But um, I'm really interested by the numbers. What, what did you manage to hold? What was your average power? So I managed to hold 260, which I'm pretty pleased with. Yeah. yeah. For 20 minutes. Know, so yeah. What did you say? It was 252. So you've, you've yeah. beaten your last year. It's yeah, a nice one. Yeah. Well, I was 225. So I was quite happy with that, especially like having not ridden this bike much this year. But I think maybe that could have been my issue when I'm going to watch this back. I'm going to see lots of ways I can improve my position. But what was your position on the bike? I think I have quite a good position on my road bike. How are you holding? In I'm that? quite low. I was literally just on the drops and then just trying to get my back as flat and my face as close to my handlebars See, as I can. It sounds like you were probably even lower than me, which is interesting. It could be another video for the future of like how aero could we, how fast could you go on this yeah. bike? I don't know if I want to know that. <laughs> I would love to do a retest. I'm going to go away and work on my aero position, wait till it's sunny, put my tri suit on, get those latex inner tubes, yep. and do a 20 mile TT. Are you up 20 for that? miles? Yeah. I think okay. I think I need the distance. Right. I've got to beat you somehow. Okay. <laughs> well, that's one for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to say massive thank you and congratulations. Thank you. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If so, do give us a like. You can follow us on our social media channels and you can also subscribe to us here on YouTube.